Welcome families, it's so good to get to talk to you today and I hope you're doing great. We're praying for you and um, you're on our hearts a lot during this time. I wanna encourage you if you have any prayer needs to check out christianchapel.com slash prayer. And also for kids messages, you can go to christianchapel.com slash kids. Parents, you can follow us at our Facebook group at Chapel Kids Tulsa. Hi kids, I hope you're doing really well. I'm, good, I'm glad to get to talk to you uh, this morning. Um, I want you to tell your family really fast what day it is. Any ideas? Maybe this will give you a hint. Today is Palm Sunday, and Palm Sunday is a day that we celebrate when Jesus rode into Jerusalem about a week before he died on the cross. Now this day was full of surprises and unexpected situations. Now right now, the way that we are living our lives has been pretty unexpected and full of a lot of surprises. Not always good surprises. Some are good. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But if I would have asked you two months ago what, you, you, what you'd be doing today, you probably didn't have this in mind. In fact, I know that I didn't think I would be spending my Palm Sunday this way either. And we have to remember, though, in good times and in bad times, Jesus is always working. And Jesus doesn't always work the way that we expect him to, but Jesus is powerful and his power is often unexpected. Now, our Bible story today is about a time when Jesus didn't do things the way that other people expected him to. I want to have you in just a moment pause this feed and families read together Luke 19, 28 through 40. All right, this story is the story we always tell on Palm Sunday. The people there that day were expecting Jesus to come and defeat the Romans. The Romans were ruling them and they were really bullies. And the people were really hoping Jesus would come and be their king. And they had heard about all the amazing miracles and things that Jesus had been doing. And so they really expected, they had high expectations that he would come and he would deliver them. But Jesus had a different plan. And it was a better plan, which we'll talk more about next week. But Jesus was up to something really, really good. The people didn't see it, but Jesus had a plan, even though it was unexpected. Now, why do you think that Jesus doesn't always do things the way we want him to? It's an interesting question. It's a really good question for us to think about during this time in our lives. But I want to read a scripture to you that would help you understand that a little bit more. I want to read Isaiah 55, verses 8 and 9. I don't think the way you think, the way you work, isn't the way I work. For as the sky soars high above the earth, so the way I work surpasses the way you work, and the way I think is beyond the way that you think. You see, God knows all things, and He has thoughts that we don't or can't understand. And so when God doesn't do what we want Him to do, it might be because He is up to something bigger and better than we could ever imagine. Now, I'd like to play a game with you at home real fast. So take a few seconds and stand up. Go ahead, stand up. Don't be ashamed or shy and spread out in the room. Are you ready? You're going to listen for my instructions. All right, and do what I say to do. Are you ready? Okay, I'm just gonna wait a few seconds between so you need to be ready to move. 
All right, here we go. Do three jumping jacks. Okay, touch something in the room that's red. Give everyone in the room a high five. Touch your toes. Reach for the sky. Touch your toes again. Spin in a circle. Reach for the sky again. Sit down. Stand up. Hop on one foot five times. Sit down. All right, great job. I hope you followed along. Catch your breath for a few seconds, especially parents, if you did it too, you want me to catch your breath. All right, was it hard to keep up with my instructions? Probably because you didn't know what I was gonna say next. It was unexpected because you didn't know what I was gonna say. And right now, you probably feel that way. Things are changing every day, sometimes several times a day. And we just feel kind of, like we don't know what's gonna happen next. It's very unexpected, but we need to know that Jesus knows what's coming next. And we can always trust that he is in control, even when he does things the way that we don't expect him to. So I want to encourage you to remember that Jesus is in control right now. He's in control of our situations and that he's up to things that we can't see. His ways are always good and we can always trust him. I want to read another scripture for you. This is Romans 8, 28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. And we know that God is able to bring good things out of bad times. And when this stream is over, after I've finished praying with you, I would like for you to sit, t sit together with your families, go around the room, and each of you share something that has come out of this time that's good, that has come out of you being at home with your families. And I want you to use those things as an encouragement to your heart and keep trusting that God is good, He is in control, and He has good plans for us. Let's pray. God, I thank you so much that you love us, that you have a plan for us. And even when you work in ways that we don't expect, help us to trust you and to know that you have a plan. God, I ask that you would help us to know that you're working, that your Holy Spirit would be with us, that your Holy Spirit would guide us and direct us, and we would find peace because we know that you are in control. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us today. Kids, we're praying for you. And again, if you have any prayer needs, please check out christianchapel.com prayer. Um, have your kids check out christianchapel.com slash kids for messages just for them. And the parents, you can follow our Facebook group at Chapel Kids Tulsa.